What's going on guys, Real Touch GML here from CodyMadeSimple.com and welcome to the fifth part in our zombie game series. And today what we're going to be doing is creating a game world and we're also going to be fixing up a couple of different things, right? So I want to put a camera system in the game and a couple objects in the game as well. Now from here on, we could go two different routes with the zombie game. We could create a forest type of area or we can create a full on building area. Um, like with multiple different rooms, maybe a lighting system. Uh, we could also do a lighting system in the in the grassland area, but I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. So what do you wanna build in this game? Do you wanna have it be a forest or what kind of scenery are we gonna be uh, creating around? Okay, so let's get that figured out and then in the next episode, we'll start creating that environment. But for now, we're just gonna create the camera system and, uh, and get going on from there, okay? So you're seeing it right now. All right, so let's go ahead and go into the mouse input. The first thing I wanna do is change something. So if we go ahead and run the game now, and we have the shooting system that we put in last tutorial, but as you can see, the bullet is slightly off. And the reason the bullet is slightly off is because when we're creating this temporary object, we're creating it at plus 16, plus 16 on the X and Y axes. But when we're actually calculating the angle, we're not putting in that plus 16. So we just need to say minus 16, and minus 16 all right so now when we run it we can see that the bullet is exactly where it should be now all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new class and I'm going to name it box and what this class is gonna do is it's just it's gonna be a temporary class and I want to just put a couple of different boxes in the game before we start loading in images and all that other stuff uh, just so we can see that when we start moving around our screen with our camera that uh, we can actually have something to reference that we're moving around right so I'm just gonna extend the game object and then implement all of the methods that we need Okay, and then in our render, I'm just gonna say g.setColor, color.red, and then we'll just create a box. So fill rect, uh, x, y, and we'll make it 64 by 64. And then we have to cast that to an integer, just like that. Okay, so this should be nothing new to you guys. All right, so now we have our box in the game, so I'm just gonna go to the game class here, and we're just gonna add it in, right? Also in our ID enumeration, we have the block there. Okay, so we're good. So let's go ahead and say handler.addObject, new box, and we'll set this at 100, 100, uh, ID.box, or block, I'm sorry. So there we go. And then maybe we can just add a couple more. So I'll put this like 200, 300, 300, 200, um, maybe 400. So we'll, we'll just have it keep going down. So there we go, all right. So we have a couple blocks in the game. Okay, so now what we need to do is create a new class called the camera class. So I'm gonna create this new class, other, and just name it camera. So this class is gonna be pretty simple. It's not going to translate the graphics itself. What I want this camera to do is just the X and Y position always be placed on our player, right? And then we can move uh, around the X and Y position of our camera class and that'll translate it in through our game class. And I'll show you how to do that here. But So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new constructor and it's gonna have in X and Y we can create these variables up here. So private int x uh, and y. And we'll just say this dot x equals x, this dot y equals y. And then what I wanna do is go into our mouse input and I'm gonna copy this find player method. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna need our handler in here. So private handler handler. Handler handler and this dot handler equals handler okay pretty simple and then we'll create our temp player so private game object temp player equals null and just like that so then inside of our constructor we can just say find player okay 
So then we're going to create a public boy tick method. And this is going to, what the tick method is going to do is its job is going to be keep your X and Y position on the player. Okay, so we can easily do this by saying X equals, or I'll hold on a second, let's say if temp player does not equal null, right? So we found the player, then we can just set our X to equal temp player dot X and our Y to equal temp player dot Y. And we'll cast it to an end. Okay, so this is all the camp camera class is going to do right so we're just going to initialize it and then we're always just going to set our x and y position to that player x and player y so now if we go into the game class what we can do is initialize this camera so up top private camera cam okay and then in our in it we can say uh, cam equals new camera i'll put, just put it at zero zero and we'll put our handler class in there Okay, so that's X and Y position zero, and then we just import our handler. Okay, so very simple. So now in our tick method in our game class, we could just say cam.tick. And then inside of our render method, this is where we're gonna be translating the actual graphics, right? So underneath our graphics G, when we initialize this as our BS git draw graphics, we're gonna need to convert it to a graphics 2D class. So we can simply do this by saying graphics 2D, G2D equals graphics 2D G, okay? And so what this is doing is just like with our ints, we're just taking this G2D and we're casting it to a graphics 2D class. We're casting our G, which is just a normal graphics class, okay? So now in between what we want to render um, as far as translating the graphics around, this is where we're gonna to wanna to sandwich these parts together. So in this case, we're just gonna sandwich it between the handler.render. Um, so here we're gonna say g2e.translate, and we have an X and Y position here, and this is gonna just simply be cam.getx, um, and we need to create those getters and setters, and cam.gety. Okay, so if we go into our camera, okay, so here we'll go to source, and generate getters and setters, and we're gonna click our X and our Y. Okay, so then we have all of these. I'm gonna put it to the bottom, just like that, okay? So I'm gonna translate them, and then I'm gonna copy this, and then paste it below, and it's gonna be negative. Okay, so anything in between these two here is gonna be translated by the, the camera. In our camera class, we're calling this find player, but it might not find it right away. So just for a fail safe in our tick method, so if temp player does not equal null, then we'll do this. Else, we'll just call find player again, okay? And then in our game class, I actually got this mixed up. This is gonna be negative cam x, negative, and this is gonna be positive, right? So we run that now. As you can see, we now have a camera moving around our screen, but it, the player is in the top left corner. Obviously, we don't want that, right? So our width and height, 640, 480. So in our camera class, we could just say um, minus game.width divided by two and minus game.height divided by two. And that's gonna pop our player in the center of the screen. All right, so everything's working well now, except now our shooting is completely bugged out. So how do we fix this? Well, what we need to do is just add in our mouse input the camera X and Y positioning, okay? So um, in our, let's get rid of our camera here. In our mouse input, what we need to do is say private camera cam and initialize this into our mouse input and this dot cam equals cam. Okay, so now inside of here, when we're calculating our angle, we just need to say also plus our cam dot get y and plus our cam dot get x, right? So now in our game class, we need to go ahead and initialize the camera. So we'll say cam. And since we're doing that, we need to make sure to initialize the camera above of our mouse input also get a null pointer error. And now, as you can see, 
now our shooting works. Okay, so just like that, we have a working camera system in the game. I wanna go back and make this camera system a little bit better. It's very basic. Um, it doesn't really, it, it just it just locks onto the X and Y corner of the player. There's really no independent movement of the camera system. So in the next episodes, we'll go ahead and fix that up a little bit. All right, so that's gonna be it. Leave a like, go and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and please comment down below what we should do next as far as the scenery of the game. All right.